metals. These elements have a shiny appearance. They allow heat and electricity to pass through them, that is, they are good conductors of heat and electricity. They can also be drawn into thin wires, that is, they are ductile. These elements can be hammered into thin sheets and we say they are malleable. They make a ringing sound when struck. That is, they are sonorous. They are hard and solid at room temperature. Such elements that possess all these properties are called metals. Non-metals Carbon and sulfur powder are not shiny. They appear dull. They have properties opposite to those of metals. We say carbon, sulfur are non-metals. Non-metals do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. That is, they are poor conductors or insulators of heat and electricity. Non-metals cannot be hammered into thin sheets, that is, they are non-malleable. Non-metals are generally soft and non-sonorous, that is, do not produce a ringing sound when struck. Non-metals are generally solids or gases at room temperature. Bromine is the only non-metal which is a liquid at room temperature. The table here shows physical states of some metals and non-metals at room temperature. The metals such as sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, copper, iron and gold remain solid at room temperature, while mercury remains liquid at room temperature. And now let's have a look at the non-metals. Non-metals like oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine and hydrogen are a gas at room temperature, while iodine, sulfur and carbon are solids and bromine liquid at room temperature. 